What's up folks, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. I'm reacting to Legend of Vox Machina. This is episode 6. I'm starting to go back on what I said about the Briarwoods getting taken out quickly. It seems like they might actually be like the whole season antagonist, because we haven't even gotten in the front door yet. It's taken so long to get there. We're finally arriving in Whitestone. The peasants are doing about as well as you'd expect peasants in a vampire-run town to be doing. Let's see if the gang can do something about it. Let's keep going. Spark of Rebellion. Okay, maybe we're going to use the peasants to help help fight the Briarwoods, get like an uprising going. Gather every able-bodied fighter in Whitestone. Oh, there's already a rebellion. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Well, Vox Machina just needs to meet these guys and they can team up together to take out the Briarwoods. Yeah. They have us. Oh, shit. That's the big thing that walked past in the last episode. Ah! Jesus. Man, how are their human guards going along with this? They must be thralls. They must be hypnotized. Delicious little tick, Archibald. Gonna have fun burning you off my balls. What an expression. <laughs> Alright, I like where this is going. So in order to get in there to defeat the Briarwoods, first we must rescue these, this rebellion and get them to aid them. Okay. This feels very much how a D&D campaign would develop. <laughs> So the yellow line, is it like the thread of fate? Is that what's happening? Damn. Did you know that with crows? I know that these are ravens, but when you find a crow, uh, when a crow finds a dead crow, he summons other crows and they actually do an investigation to figure out what happened. There are crow detectives. Quickly, this way. Are you crazy? Out of the streets, hide! They're like, uh, what's happening? Gotta move. It's the big dude. And he's carrying rebellion prisoners back to the to the compound. God damn. Grog, you're part giant. Can you vouch for us? Oh what? Because we all fucking know each other. <laughs> That's an Grog, undead are giant. This? Are you part of the resistance? The Dorano Crest. Maybe the resistance is using it. Interesting, the Resistance is using the crest of his house because they were the rightful rulers of this place. Makes sense. Friends, I know you have suffered. Gina Torres? What up, girl? Greetings, strangers. Keep her yenning. Again, with the Elijah Woods Sin City vibes. <laughs> it's you. Oh, but you're not the same. How could he be after everything that has happened to him? What I need to do requires discretion. Groups can be messy. But you're leading this group. And it's a pretty messy group. Let's 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 be real. <laughs> Wait, we have a height requirement? Uh, obviously. What? Yeah, obviously. I, I thought we were all sort of co-leaders. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a realistic D and D conversation too. Wait, who's the leader of the group? We're clear. I feel like that dude on the stairs is based on an actual person. Like that's like a that's like a drawn cameo. Cause his hair and his glasses, it was all like very specific. I feel like that was a reference to someone. I don't know. Like whenever they do a famous character on The Simpsons, even if you don't know who the celebrity is, you know that that's what, who that, what's happening because their face is like extra detailed. Like that guy was extra detailed. You preach pacifism while associating with rebels. Trust me, I want the Briarwoods gone as much as you do. Percy, you really being judgy right now? Their leader has been captured. Ah, there it is. It's Archibald Desnay. Archie? Childhood friend? We grew up together. One time, Archie and I Roots of the Sundry. Ooh, I wonder if Kaleth can do some sort of, like, druid magic to the tree to restart it. Revitalize it, you know? I'm Keyleth of the Ashari. It's Keyleth. I keep saying Kaleth. We'd be starting an uprising. And this town could use some hope. I don't know about starting an uprising. It sounds like there's already an uprising underway that you need to just preserve. Everlight? Hear me. Please. I don't think they're going to face the Briarwoods without Pike. Considering how long it's taking to actually have the confrontation, I think she's going to make her way back to them. Because they're not going to do an encounter without the healer. That's foolish. Doesn't matter how good your tank is. It's no use. Well, that was, I mean, you, that was progress. Before it was just an abyss. Now there's fire. It might not be, like, a good thing, but it's, stuff's happening at least. 
No curse, no spell could sever your connection to her light. It's impossible. It's gonna be like a self-confidence thing. She has to like believe in herself, and then she, and then it'll work, or something. She's being she's being given a test, like a trial, right now. It's me. Yeah, you. you she has like a trauma because of the wounds she suffered, and now she's doubting herself, and that's why she's not able to connect. That's that's my theory. There's no room for heroes in Whitestone. <laughs> God, that's such a wet crunch sound. Ugh. Because you'll find the alternative to be most disagreeable. Oh! Jesus! He just... Oh, God, he did. He pulled it off. Okay, so here's my idea how to bust Archie out. I'll speak to the local animals. They'll fetch the jailer's keys and... Amazing. Eh, not so fast, fair maiden. This is a job for Scanlan the Revolutionary. With a beret, of course. All we're going to do is kill everyone and leave. Uh, what about Archie? Yeah, we kill him too. <laughs> Those were bad ideas and you should all feel bad. <laughs> I'm thinking of how I play games like Skyrim. I'm like, yeah, I'm Grog. I'm just Grog. I shan't waste your time as I have but the one question. I like this dude's design. Where he does look like... Fox? Machina. The guy who would be in charge of military for a bunch of vampires. What's up, Vox <laughs> yeah, why would he why would he have heard of that yet? What is that day? Oh. Nothing but bad news. So is he an, like an artificer? Does he create these things or is he just like buying a bunch of technology? Like he's the one with the gadgets, but does he make them himself? He did have the plans for the gun earlier. Almost. Come Damn. on. I've almost got shit. Oh wait, I've got enough fuck shit. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Ugh, fucking doors. That was a great voice performance from Vax, actually. That was awesome. Huh? Vax? We can't just leave them. Actually, it's true. It would help your mission to just open all the cages because that causes chaos too. The guards will be overwhelmed as everyone's escaping. Yeah, if you're sneaking through someplace and there's prisoners, always free the prisoners because it'll help. What a door. It's a thing of evil. <laughs> halt! Don't move! Nice. But here's your chance. Skeleton's foot! Damn, even that didn't open it. I fell out of the window. God, the way he whistled when he opened... Oh, that was too good. R.I.P. That poor, poor guard. Upstairs. He couldn't have known. Oh, thank the gods. You know what? Vex's outfit, it's giving Southern Water Tribe. That's what I see. The fur, the leather, the blue. Okay, here we go. That, I'm telling you, that back door was cursed. <laughs> Shit. He's not gonna get over that door. He prides himself on his fancy lock picking. <laughs> oh shit, this was a trap, wasn't it? Throw down your arms, return to your cells, and maybe I'll let you live. Come on, there's just three of them. No! No, 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 I'm too handsome to die! <laughs> How did you do that? Scanlan? <laughs> Oh, nice. The real him was still the real him. The second one was the illusion. Charge! The, s the insurrection is really going now. Toe. Double arrow. Man, fuck this Tudor guy. He better die fast. I've got you, little one. No, God! Fucking exposed brain! See, again, Kaleth only does she only does the like the super powerful stuff when she's like really emotionally like charged. Like heightened. God, <laughs> just caves in the helmet. What are you doing? Creating a diversion while you get away. No, come on, man. We just saved you. Look at him go. 
seal the doors, Stonefell. Do it, man. You gotta do it. Knock one of the names off. Percy, wait. You know, I'll let him do what he's gotta do. We'll get him. Even if it is probably a trap. The Briarwoods know that he survived, and I'm sure that information has by now traveled through their establishment, right? Yeah, God. Yeah, we will be addressing the black smoke once we're done with the Briarwoods, right? Because something's going on with that helmet. It's evil. Oh! I wanted you to know it was me. Oh my god, look at his eyes. <sighs> and the name disappears. Percival! What the fuck are you doing? I am the sole surviving Dorolo. I will have my vengeance, and no one will stand in my way! Yep, yeah, nope, nope, not, not getting in the way. Your sister, Cassandra. No way! She got shot with the arrows, though. Holy shit. Is that his sister with the blue hair? Grog, toss the boots. Oh, but I just got it. <laughs> just do it. Don't worry, Grog, we'll get you a drink later. Poor guy. Enchanted arrow! Amazing. Well done. God, they burned the whole fucking thing down. Cassandra? Oh, God, no, there she is. Okay. This changes nothing. So they, like, raised her themselves? That's so, like, twisted. What the hell? Oh, this was a good episode. Man, something has got to be done about these goddamn Briarwoods. Okay, so Percy's not, in fact, the last surviving Dorolo. His sister is also alive. Which is great, because that way, when we finally tie this up neatly and defeat the, the Briarwoods and the Dorolos are back in charge, he doesn't have to stay behind and rule and, like, leave the group. He can continue on to do whatever the next adventure is, and his sister can stay behind and rule. So that's nice. That's convenient. Yeah, this is, um, this is getting darker and darker as the show goes on, and I'm here for it. I really appreciate that. I mean, it's because we're it's because we're like steeped in Percy's story right now, and clearly like, there's nothing but darkness in his past. So, that's to be expected. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Legend of Vox Machina episode six. This has been edited by Nerd Chronic to comply with fair use. If you want to check out the full-length uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.